Welcome to 24th of December's Godly Blessing, uh, just a day before Christmas. The time when slowly, slowly the days will get longer and the nights will get shorter. So, in the same way, we get to know that how the days have been in the past, how days have been in the present and how days have been in the future. What about our own life? What is happening to our own life? We are going to understand that also. But we need to get this divine knowledge which will give us an example of what we should expect in the future and what is happening right now. In a similar manner, we need to know that what do we need to do if a situation arises in the present and how do we look at it. So that's why God says that you should know your parts in the drama and may you be a master knowledgeful and observe each moment of your parts in the drama in the Trikaldarshi stage, the three aspects of time past, present, future. In the past, not just this life, but in the pre previous lives, what all have we done so that we know what all we have to face as per our karma? And what should we do now so that we face the same karma in the future? That becomes Trikaldashi, three aspects of time. So God here says, may you become, may you be master knowledgeful and observe each moment of your past in the drama in the Trikaldashi stage. Let's get into the explanation part here. Observe every scene while stable in the Trikaldashi stage and see what you were, what you are and what you are going to become. Right? So that means knowing the past, the present and the future. So doing our actions as per the present. By knowing what do we want to experience in the future. God says you have a special part fixed in this drama. All of us souls, even you souls have a special part. Now there is a condition over here. The condition is that we are following godly dictates or we are following the satanic dictates. Following the satanic or ravanic dictates, we don't have a hundred percent surety that it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be short-lived, but it's not going to be beautiful for sure. So that's why God says, are you following my dictates or are you following godly dictates or are you following the satanic or ravanic dictates? That is going to decide your future. So God says, experience very clearly that you were a deity yesterday, that you were very divine when I sent you on this earth. Do you remember that? All right. But God is here to tell you that couple of thousands of years back when you landed on this earth, I'm talking about and God is talking about the previous lives. So you were a divine being. You did not have anger, lust, greed, ego, jealousy, hatred, all those negativities weren't there within you. What happened then? Over a period of time, when the world changed, the population changed, the world drama changed, there was a transition and we started becoming from pure impure. That means our mind started becoming more restless, more stressful, more depressed. And slowly, slowly, we started imbibing all these negative qualities which led to that depression, that stress. So God says, you know what you have done before, but in the beginning, you were a divine being. That means you were deity-like yesterday. And that you are going to become that tomorrow. So right now we have to work in such a manner that our qualities are divine again. So what kind of actions, what kind of karmas do we need to do? Think about them. Experience very clearly that you were a deity yesterday and that you are going to become that tomorrow. You have received the knowledge of all three aspects of time. Now that is only possible when you have done the seven day course. Yes, exactly. You get to know from the Supreme Creator that who you were in your previous births who you are right now and what you're supposed to be doing in the future. God says, when you stand at the highest point of a city and look down, imagine, you have a lot of pleasure in being able to see the whole city because you can see the complete city, you can understand what exactly you are doing, where you're living, right? In the same way, the conference age is the top point, is the time of transition. Now you can look down, okay, I've done this in the past. This is what I'm supposed to do in the present and that is what I'm going to face in the future. Stand at this point, be knowledgeful and play each part and you will have a lot of pleasure. Now play each part. Now you have to play that part as per Godly dictates or as per your own dictates or as per somebody else's dictates or as per not divine but Ravanik or sitting dictates. That will decide your future. To know more about this in details, you can visit the Brahma Kumari Center and understand your past, your present and your future and the world's future too. With this, I'm Shanti.